When he touched my hands, I could feel the pain just left. Well, as if this night couldn't get any sweeter, I have Pastor Terry's mother, Miss Bonnie Lynn Scott, and she's got a testimony she's going to share with us. I just have to share with you all what happened on Tuesday night here. Okay. Preston Holland was here from Indianapolis. He preached. He shared mm -hmm. a lot of things that he had been healed from. Sure. And then when they called everyone to come forward for prayer for healing, my knees have been bothering me for several years. Sometimes worse, sometimes not so worse, but a long time. And it was getting worse recently. Recently, to the point I was thinking, what do I do? Do I need a knee replacement? Do I do a cortisone shot? Do I do some other injections? What do I do? And when they called for people to come forward for healing, I went up for my knees. And when he touched my hands, I could feel the pain just left. Wow. And my left knee kind of popped cracked while I was standing there and I was kind of like oh what was that sure. but you know the pain went away and I just praise God that was Tuesday this is Friday I haven't had pain since Come on. it was so bad that night that I was here greeting and I didn't think I was going to be able to finish greeting I kept looking at my phone to see what time is it because it's like I don't know how many more minutes I can stand here and finally when praise and worship started I went over here to the chairs where I could sit down I'd never done that before during the times I was greeting but it's like I just have to sit for a little bit and I told Miss Paula my knees are done I can't do this anymore and I sat down and whenever somebody come in I would jump up and say hi and then sit back down I was in severe pain and when he prayed for me it was gone and it's still gone and I prayed God for that in Jesus name. Amen. 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 God is still healing people. He's just waiting for you to receive it. You know, he died on the cross years ago. He bore all those stripes on his back for this, for, for, for these moments so that you could receive your healing. And so we're so thankful for, for that bloodshed so that we could walk in healing and, uh, and, and claim those in those moments. I know um, the quality of life is a whole lot easier when you're not oh aching. My, yes. So I mean, oh I can my, yes. I can tell by the smile on her face, definitely. it is uh, definitely a help when all that pain is gone. So I rejoice with you, Miss Bonnie. I've been thanking God every day, many times a day, for my healing. Amen. Amen. And Hallelujah. don't stop. Oh, um, that's where it's at. I love I you. I love you so love much. You. Thank oh you. my 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 my. If you didn't have a chance to come out to these revival services, they're all online. They're on YouTube. Uh, lots of miracles that have been happening here. Lots of powerful words and messages that, uh, that, that help speak to you and in your situation. So I challenge you, go ahead and look at those videos. Allow the Lord to speak to you through those messages. Um, just because the revival is over doesn't mean that your miracle is gone and passed and, and you can't receive it. You can still receive it. So just go ahead and claim that. Believe in the Word of God. Um, apply faith and, and faith, or I'm sorry, activate your faith and receive that healing tonight. We love you. We call you blessed in Jesus' name.